So you want to display your images side by side in Microsoft Word. Now I'm going to show you two methods. One requires you to change the layout options for your images. And the second method I'll show requires you to create a table. So let's look at the first method. So I select the image I want to move. And then I click on this layout options button. And then I need to select one of these options here. I'm just going to go for the first option, square. Then I can drag this image wherever I want in the document. Now the images are side by side, but quite a nice option is to group the images. If you group the images, then you can move and resize them as one image. In order to group the images, I need to select them. And that isn't possible at the moment. I can only select one of the images. And that's because I need to change the layout option on the first image. So I go up to this button and I'm also going to change that to square. Once I've done that, I can click on the first image, hold down control and select the second image. And I can see that they're both selected. I can then go up to my picture format tab on the ribbon. And here's my group button. Click on group. And now the images move and can be resized as one image. Okay, that's the first method. The second method is to insert a table. So we go up to the insert tab on the ribbon, we go to table, and I want one row with two columns, a two by one table. Don't worry about the borders, we'll get rid of those eventually. So your flashing cursor is in the first cell, you go to the insert tab on your ribbon, pictures, and then choose a picture. So I'm going to go to this device and then select this picture. You may need to resize it. One way to resize it is on the picture format tab. Go over to the size settings. And if I change the width of this image to six centimeters, fits quite nicely within the cell. And then what I could do is copy and paste that into the second column. Now, what I would then do is select the table, go to the Layout tab and auto fit the columns. Auto fit content, and that closes the gap between the two images. If you want even more control over the gap between the images, one way to achieve that is to go to the Properties button. This is still on the Layout tab. And then go to Options. And what you can do is control the margin or the padding around the pictures. So we've already got a left and right setting of 0.19 centimeters. If I took that up to five, just to show you what this does, click on OK. So can you see it's increased the spacing between the images? So then probably what I'd want to do is get rid of the borders around the table. Now to do that, you go to the Design tab, Table Design, then to this borders button, and you can say no border. Now it looks as though we've still got borders, but these dash lines are really just grid lines to display the structure of the table. They won't print out. If you do want to get rid of those grid lines, go to the layout tab, and you can use this button to toggle the grid lines on and off. I'm going to leave them on. Now, if I wanted four images, so a second row of images, I could insert another row in my table. So on the Layout tab, I'm going to insert a row below. And then I'll copy this image into those two cells. To create the space between the images in each column, what you can do is go to this Properties button. So this is still on the Layout tab. Go to Options and change the margin settings top and bottom. So if I match them to what I've already got for left and right, I should get equal spacing between the images. And you can see that that is the case. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover on this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.